A little champagne to usher in a name change. The SLS changed its name back to probably one you're familiar with. Oh, this is exciting. The Sahara is back. And now if you drive past the hotel, all the billboards lit up with that iconic name. Fox 5's Christopher Redfern live in the newsroom with the big change. Yeah, so Sahara was the hotel's name from 1952 all the way up to 2011. Now they're dumping more than $100 million into revamping the property and things popped off just before lunchtime this morning. So Sahara was the hotel's name for nearly six decades and as of this morning it's back drive past what people call the SLS yesterday and you'll see signs lit up with that Sahara name once again this is Las Vegas after all and here's how things popped off this morning we, we see ourselves as a, a boutique offering on the uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. There's so much value in the past and people who love Vegas love the past of Vegas. And we've been traveling the world and now we are finally at the Sahara in Las Vegas and we are extremely excited to be here and represent that beautiful show. That's the cast of a new show at the Sahara called Blanc de Blanc. The GM says it's just the tip of the iceberg for a more than $150 million revitalization project meant to breathe new life into the hotel. I'll tell you more about it coming up on Fox 5 News at 5. Let's send it back over to John at the desk for a little history lesson. That's right, Chris. The Sahara has a ton of history. Originally built as Club Bingo, it opened in 1947. Then in 1952, Sahara replaced Club Bingo, and back in the day, A-listers performed there like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Judy Garland, along with many other performers of that era. It was the sixth resort on the Las Vegas Strip. It closed in 2011, then reopened as SLS in 2013.